Yo, so when you're talking about fashion and style, these are two completely different lanes that you're dealing with. On one hand, you got fashion, which is current, it's seasonal, it's the now, it's what's happening, it's what's hot and what's new. And fashion can be guided by buyers, designers, stylists, and tastemakers as well. But then on the other hand, you got style. This is personal, it's into who you are. It's basically the art of self-expression through clothing. Good part about styling is there is no time limit on it and there is no right and wrong. This is basically what makes you happy with what you're wearing. So nobody can tell you that you're wearing this the wrong way because it's tailored to who you are as an individual. But right in between that, you got this gray, sticky spider web of an area called trends. It's a real thin line between fashion and trends. You cross that line a little bit too far and you'll get caught in this spider web of trends. Now ain't nothing wrong with trends at all. Actually, it's like a kickstart to fashion. It's actually pretty fun. It's in the know. You get to know what's what. And it's actually led by tastemakers. So it's kind of like popular vote of what everybody else think is hot and what's not. Now don't get me wrong, I wear my trends too and I like picking them out when it has to deal with colors, patterns, shapes, material and stuff like that. But when it comes to these three things, you have to ask yourself, are you fashionable? Are you more of a stylish, personal stylish person? Or are you into just riding everybody else's way? Now my problem with trends is the trendy brands. Perfect example, Champion used to be a popular brand way back in the day. Now after a while, the brand cooled down and all of a sudden, you only seen Champion inside Target or Walmart. But now all of a sudden, Beyonce wear it. And when Beyonce wear it, what happens? Everybody start wearing Champion, prices spike high, and all of a sudden, Champion for a short-lived moment is back on top and they striking prices high as ever. Another trendy brand, Kappa. Everybody loves seeing those pants with the Playboy girls on the side of the pants. Those was cool. The jogger pants, everybody was wearing them. But now that trend has died down and you barely see anybody wearing those anymore. And nine times out of ten, I'm pretty sure it's in somebody crate. They threw it away. They gave it to somebody. Or it's in the back of their closet and they ain't even wearing it no more. Now there's only a few reasons that most people will actually buy brands when they are popular and trendy at that moment. One is because you're influenced by somebody. Two is because it make you look like money. Three is because you actually into the brand and four is because you want to ride the wave like everybody else so you could fit in just like everybody else is getting that specific look now out of all four of these reasons that i stated could be more it's nothing wrong with none of these if you fill in one of them four spots nothing wrong with that at all my problem comes in when most people start to wear these brands day to day their brands are changing so they don't really have no defiant style when they come to picking their pieces what they doing are just picking different type of trends and by the time that trend leave now you got a closet full of clothes that you just wasted money on Perfect example, you have Gallery Department that's one of the most popular brands out right now. Gallery Department is a clothing brand that's based off of art. Now most people are wearing their basic t-shirt that they have, but most of the time you'll see a t-shirt, the Gallery Department t-shirt, you'll see a chain, some jeans, and some popular sneakers, and that's the leading style and they move as a trend. After it cools down and the popularity leaves, nobody will be wearing Gallery Department like that unless you are a stylish individual or you are really into the fashion and you really know how to put these pieces together. Gallery department have way more fire pieces than just t-shirts. This brand has pieces like the Wilson shirt, the Recycled Denim Logan, the Briscoe Le Flair, and you have the Athletic jersey. Now that's just to name a few. These pieces go over six to seven hundred dollars for each of these pieces. So what do you do in this case? You go to that trendy t-shirt and that trendy t-shirt is going for about two eighty. Uh, yeah, I take that over six to seven hundred dollars any day, especially if I don't really rock with the brand like that. At least I still be in fashion. Uh, that's not the case. You're not really fashionable, you're just being trendy. Now when a fire dies down and the smoke clears and it's not popular and it's not a trendy thing no more, guess where that t-shirt go? Right to the back of that closet or it's going up in that basket or you giving it to a friend or you selling it to somebody. This is what the normal rotation of being trendy happens. But at the same time, you got to think of stuff like this. You're either losing out on money for buying all these trendy pieces and you yet to find a style of your own yet. These are the things that you have to take into consideration when it comes to being stylish, fashionable or being trendy. Neither one of these three are a wrong way to go. If you're fashionable, you're fired because you're able to adapt at the speed of lightning because fashion always changes season to season. If you're stylish, hands down to you, man, because that means you already know how to put yourself together and you know what makes you happy. So no matter what you wear, you ain't trying to do it for nobody else. You're trying to do it for yourself. And nine times out of 10, everybody is going to love what you wear because you know how to flex it in multiple ways. Now, if you're trendy, nothing wrong with that either. It's cool because it just 
just means that you need a little bit more time to find yourself. And at the same time, you could just be wanting to try to have some fun. But before you go to the store or you get online and you swipe that card and max out that card on the highest bidding brand, be careful about being trendy, man, because you don't want to blow your money for nothing that you're not going to be wearing later on in the future. Don't always ride the wave, create your own lane and actually show people that you have some type of style. That's just my opinion. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Make sure y'all drop that comment down below, punch that like button, make sure y'all share this video. And with that being said, I'll catch up with y'all next time. Y'all already know how this go. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. Peace.